Good day and welcome to SEO Bricks Insight, where we talk about what's really going on in the world of the Bricks. Now, today I want to talk about an extraordinary decree that Russian President Vladimir Putin's just signed that amounts to basically offering Christians sanctuary in Russia. Yeah, he said to Christians around the world, if you want to practice your religion without being mocked and discriminated against, then come live in Russia and we'll make it easy for you to do it. Now, last week, Vladimir Putin signed a decree outlining the provision of humanitarian support to foreign individuals who support traditional spiritual and moral values to come and do it in Russia. Now, as of September the 1st, foreign nationals and stateless persons will be able to apply for a temporary residence permit in Russia under a streamlined process if their views do not align with the policies of the country of their origin which espouses the destructive neoliberal attitudes. Now, what the decree means is that if you're sick to death of the indoctrination of your kids into all the LGBT plus new religion, you can come and live and be welcome in Russia. Now, the decree provides for the right to obtain a temporary residence visa without consideration of the current quota system that's been approved by the Russian government and without having to submit documents confirming that you can speak Russian, have a knowledge of Russian history and the fundamentals of Russian legislation, which are current. Now, the government will determine the list of the countries in consultation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but I think you can pretty much guess who the countries that are going to be on that list are. Now, Russia's spiritual and moral values are set out in the decree on the approval of the fundamentals of state policy for the preservation and strengthening of traditional Russian spiritual and moral values. And that was signed by President Putin in November 2022. Now, already potential migrants from Western countries have stated they are motivated to relocate to Russia due to a desire to avoid living in countries that support the lunacy of LGBT t plus indoctrination sodomy and child abuse now they believe that vladimir putin's new migration degree will facilitate the influx of westerners who align and support with traditional russian family values of the faith family and the flag it certainly resonates with large numbers of people who are sick to death of the constant attack on conservative and family values in the west now before i continue i'd like to make an appeal if you like and enjoy my videos, you can help me fund my channel and my website, seobricksinsight.com, to further develop it. You can do this by making a small donation, which can be done by clicking on the thanks button at the bottom of the video screen. Everybody who donates does get a personal thank you from me, and I'm thanking you now just for watching because I do appreciate it. Now, you only had to watch the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympics this year to see the levels of degeneracy, deviance and moral decay that's happened in the West and the mocking and contempt that the, now, uh, the establishment now has for the Judeo-Christian values that the West was based on. Now it appears that every city has a Pride Month with a wide range of events designed to normalise what up until a few years ago was actually a criminal offence. Now, in recent times, particularly following the pandemic and the advent of the new Cold War, citizens of countries in which Russia had strange relations have been seeking refuge in Russia from the imposition of the unacceptable narratives in their countries of origin. In particular, this concerns the care of juveniles, whereas children are removed from their families and placed in the care of individuals with what we will call non-traditional sexual orientation couples. Now, this was provided by Maria Bettina, who's a state uh, Duma member on international affairs, who you may remember was jailed for being a, a Russian spy for just being a member of the American Rifle Association. Now, she's identified Germany as one of the major leaders of these processes and she anticipates one of the highest number of migrants will come from Germany and other countries to be considered are the Baltic states, Canada, the US, particularly the UK, Italy and France. Now they are aware that if they remain in Germany or the USA etc, their children will be brought up in the context of being forced with LGBT plus narratives. Plus, there's considerable opposition to this policy in the West, but the, the people just get silenced. However, I mean, migrants will encounter some bureaucratic challenges in Russia. These include the non-recognition of their educational diplomas, 
the different school programs and difficulties in obtaining an apostille and some other certificates that you need for the various uh, things that are being done here. So we'll see. <clears throat> but these resolves are all being resolved. I certainly resolved them all and that was before it was made easier. So I can see there'll be an acceleration in the process. Plus, the current presidential degree aligns with the government's policy of enhancing migration policy, getting the right type of people that want to come. I mean, they've got to differentiate the types of visa for different types of migrants. I mean, if we're talking about citizens from unfriendly countries, we need to certainly tighten the control over low-skilled migrants from Central Asia. But migration decisions have been typical in Russia for the time since Ivan the Third. That was Ivan the Terrible to those who don't actually know the... Uh, I mean, foreign specialists were invited into the country and they included Italians, Swedes and Poles. I mean, the first German settlers and land decrees were uh, done under Ivan the Terrible, so it wasn't Peter the Great who was the first to make this approach of bringing foreigners, although he did a fair bit. Uh, to do so and modernise and open up Russia. Now Putin's degree does offer a helping hand to foreigners and it will be a, a source of optimism I'm, I'm sure to those who have Christian values and are looking for somewhere to go. It also assists in dismantling the psychological obstacles that have prevented many from considering the possibility of leaving the EU, the UK, Canada and Australia. I mean, in these countries, individuals with traditional values are faced humiliation and destruction of the fabric of their society. Now, those who are interested in relocating to Russia but were unable to do so uh, because of the previous buyers are now seriously considering uh, seeking an asylum in a country that's now declared its commitment to protecting children, families and the foundations of traditional religions. I mean, personally, I've received some feedback from more than one or two uh, individuals in the last few days who've basically said that they're interested. Now, Yulia Ora, who's a Telegram channel called Canadian Returnee, she went to Canada, came back, and now she's talking with other Canadians who are looking to come to Russia. She says, I'm pleased that we what Putin is doing. He says, this marks the start of Russia's journey toward a comprehensive and effective migration policy. The key priority is now to capitalise on the window of opportunity created by the misguided policies of Western countries. Now, what are the major factors driving individuals from Western countries to seek uh, alternative destinations. Well, the anti-Russian propaganda being opposed, I mean, I suppose the persecution of Christians and the mocking of their beliefs. I mean, in my own experience, in the UK, street preachers have been arrested for so-called hate crime, for calling, uh, from quoting from the Bible. I mean, people have lost their employment for being against same-sex marriages and Others have been arrested for the so-called hate crime of calling a man who thinks he is a woman because he wears a dress that, that he's a man. And that has hurt his feelings. So the police turn up and give people warnings that this is a hate crime. Furthermore, in the West, there's been a new phenomenon observed where seriously perverted and deluded individuals are invited into kindergartens, schools and libraries. These individuals are large males, they don large amounts of makeup, they dress in women's clothing and they're described as drag queens and they're seen telling children fairy tales. Now this is contrary to the fundamental principles of world religions and common sense and it should be noted that also teachers in schools now are not permitted to address their children as he or she but must use the pronouns they or them. Now the speaker is uh, obviously talking about what's been happening. But there's a perception that if your country's not a suitable place to live when you're required to pay taxes in a country that supports Satanism, sodomy and child abuse. I mean, that's really what giving children uh, puberty blockers and allowing them to have their breasts removed. So, according to Aura, she says, Russia should be engaged more proactively with migrants and basically work out how to help them uh, move quickly on this. So it's now offering an alternative to the immigration visa, which will be available at all consulates. Uh, to, yeah. in, the, the, in the UK, for example, there's one in Edinburgh and one in London. Now, 
in Ireland. I know there's one in Dublin. Now these uh, visas are uh, going to be offered to people and there obviously will be certain uh, restrictions and people will be asked to provide information that shows that they are really serious about being Christians and really want to um, get involved in being in Russia uh, and a better life and not that they're uh, provocateurs or decoy spies etc from the uh, from the west to uh, cause problems but those who seriously want a better life I mean they're obviously going to uh, amend the questionnaire for uh, foreign nationals include the fact that they realize that Russia is a place that has certain problems with uh, with NATO the Ukraine etc and that they actually understand the reasons why that is happening and they don't believe the Western propaganda now, obviously, making sure that nobody from extremist movements are allowed to be involved, etc. But, you know, uh, obviously drug testing and HIV, um, hepatitis, etc. But in terms of political significance, it's, it's a significant change uh, in policy. And it's certainly showing the, the West that Russia is serious about moving forward. And being the guardian of uh, of Christian values. I mean, obviously some of the restrictions, they're not going to restrict the number of people coming into the country, but only those that meet the required standards are granted en entry. Now, what are we talking about in terms of numbers? Well, there's 6 million Orthodox Christians in the UK, USA. Yeah, 6 million. And that is growing. There's also approximately 3 million traditional Catholics who do not recognise the dogma of the Roman Catholic Church, citing its drift towards approving all the aspects of the LGBT plus agenda. Plus there's numerous Catholics in France and Protestants in the UK, etc., who consider the uh, impact of what's going to happen. So... If you're sick to death of LGBT plus or members of your family are and they're take over your country and want to live among Christians with the same values of family, faith and flag, you'll be welcome here. Now the added bonus is the standard of living here in Russia is higher and the costs are lower. Now thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, you can help me fund the channel and the website seobricksinsight.com by clicking on the thanks button at the bottom of the screen. Thank you and I'll see you all again soon.